what's new with India's burgeoning EV industry, which is the electric vehicle industry. Hero Motor Corp is a multinational motorcycle and scooter manufacturer. Atha Energy is a two-wheeler electric manufacturer. Atha is said to have made waves with its seemingly innovative and tech-forward approach to electric scooters. The company also is known for its charging infrastructure. Its scooters are said to have garnered significant attention in a market that is becoming increasingly conscious of environmental sustainability and the benefits of electric mobility. Atho had also announced in July 2023 that it had tied up with Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, which is the BPCL, to expand its charging infrastructure. And in September 2023, it was announced that Hero Motor Corp would invest about 550 crore rupees into Ather Energy. The funds could be instrumental in supporting Ather's growth plans and expanding its manufacturing capacity. Before this investment, Hero already held about 34% stake in Ather, making it Ather's largest shareholder. So this may mean that Hero intends to deepen its involvement in the EV sector, aligning with a global shift towards sustainable transportation. Ather may also be contemplating an IPO as early as 2024. So, this funding may bolster its IPO prep. Hero had previously invested about 420 crore rupees in Ather in January 2022. Does this underscore the growth of electric mobility in India's automotive landscape? And the EV market in India may have its own challenges. The Ministry of Heavy Industries in 2023 had proposed to cut down existing EV subsidies on electric two-wheelers from 40% of the total sales price to about 15%. Additionally, the government directed original equipment manufacturers like Ather to reimburse customers mm-hmm. the full price of portable chargers purchased with the electric vehicles. There had been complaints that subsidies were being misused and manufacturers were allegedly overcharging consumers by selling portable chargers separately. Ather agreed to refund about 140 crore rupees to 95,000 affected customers. For Ather, this translated into a significant cash flow issue with the industry-wide figure amounting to about 290 crore rupees. And those who had not purchased the Ather 450X model would be reimbursed because there was said to be a reduced battery capacity since upgraded software was not purchased. So. What could the EV landscape look like with these challenges in India? What do the changing winds of India's automotive industry bring? What is the future of Ather Energy?